animal. He said, when I, he said, let the erasing of my hands be like an evening sacrifice. That's every time he's praising God, he's offering himself as a lamb. He sacrificed his life and tied to God. That's why, that was the revelation of Apostle Paul called. He said, now present yourself as what? As a living sacrifice. And the truth is this. Because you hold yourself, you know the truth about your heart. If only you want to be true to yourself. Because not every time we are truly truthful to ourselves. If you want to be truly true to yourself, you know that whether well, this is a pure sacrifice. You say make it holy and what? Because if you are offering yourself to God and God gets you, don't blame King. If you are, <clears throat> if you are presenting yourself by yourself unto God and God says you are not holy. Holy, do you know what you are holy? Totally, completely, the whole you. Not part of you. Not why you are going to the altar of God, your heart is in the house. Only your body is coming. Hallelujah. Your, your, or where you are here and everything is another place. The Bible says, make, let it be whole. How many of you are whole here today, this morning? That's not part of you, somewhere. Because we only pray that prayer and it happened to me before. I close my eyes like this. I may see my wife. I tell you, I told my wife, do you know that that prayer is a strong prayer? They say that uh, you'll be here and your heart and your mind. Too late speaking. How many of you have happened to you before? You close your eyes and see. You close your eyes in the joint and you are seeing another person. Be truthful. Uh, it happened to me not th- more than 10 times. 100 times. We have we been in the school fellowship in the church, in school. I, well, close your eyes. I close my eyes. I, I'll be seeing my wife. In another, in another college. I tell you, every, every time. It won't happen when I want to sleep. Only when they close your eyes to pray. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when they are saying that, uh, bring yourself woe to God. It's true. Hallelujah. At times you will be praying like this and your heart is somewhere. But when and calculate money, yes. When you come to God, he said, we have to come woe, not partial. And God is, is he wants us to come woe. How many? This is one of the first woe. We are going to, okay, thank God the, the chairman all the coordinator, all the messiah in our, all our event is here. Today we are going to do it the way we do it. But next week and the week, you can call as many gospel artists. You want to dance? You want, you want to dance the way any, only dancing. Only what? I, I don't know how to say it. In English, or our top of your pillow is more. We are if we are using the rest of this year to thank God in this church, is more than that. The rest of this year, you did none of you see what I have seen. I know it. Most of you don't hear what I have heard, you did not see what I have seen. I have seen. A lot. I have heard a lot. So, it deserves it. Yes. I'm telling you, it what? How many of us? If you are burying anybody, don't you know the plan of enemy? Check your life. See what God has done in your life. It's not accidental, sir. It's not incidental, sir. It's not coincident. You are not lucky. You are just blessed. We, we, 
are the people helped by God. We are the people helped by God. We are. Thank God for our, our people in Pakistan. That, that is their, uh, their, their, what they call it, their, their eh? motto. He said, we are the people helped by God. Yes. <laughs> he said, since this day that we have been running after you and we get you finally, God helped us. And I said, yes, God helped you. You are the people helped by God. He said, Daddy, can we say that once our motto? I said, yes, that was good. He said, we have been running after you. They have been running after me. We want to, be, we want to come faith trial. We want to be part of faith trial family. And later on, something just triggered on me. What is wrong with you? Does it cost you anything? Just to say, yes, we accept you into faith trial family. And do you know that they are going to be that so much? I thought that they are just like 100. They are 1,000. Branches. Amen. Amen. And, and that one doesn't deserve it. God doesn't deserve nothing. He deserves. Without labor, without sweat, without contributing foreign mission or of, of outreach mission, and God is doing that. Not only that. I look all over you. I see the way you dress. You dress good. Thank God, Pastor Man, Regina. You dress so good like a way, indeed. <laughs> we are going, people of God, we are going to turn girl. Not just dancing. Thank God, my daughter. And the two of you, we are going to row. I'm not going to row here. I'm, I'm going there to row. I will row on the floor until I tired. Musi will be going here. Nobody will thank God standing. Thank God, Grandma. You know how to do it better. We are going to thank God what? Only just like a David. David rose on the ground and God made covenant with himself. God called himself and made a covenant with himself. For what? Only on the floor. He didn't wear Italian suit. He wear eh? Royal go. Royal what? Royal robe. And it was rolling on the floor. Outside, not in the in, it doesn't have sanctuary. Outside in the floor. And God said, For who? Is there God for you? He didn't even know that God has God and God called himself. God said, I make covenant with myself. God didn't promise. God made covenant with himself. He said, after you, he said, this throne is to retain and so for your generations on board. David died over 2,000 years now. His tomb is still royal tomb in Israel. Anyone that go to Israel, they say, well, I want to go to the tomb of David. He's still special among many kings before him and after him because of the covenant that God made himself. In this three Sunday, power Sunday, if you can in this submit, surrender everything wholly unto God, God will talk to Himself Amen. about you. Amen. God will speak to Himself Amen. for your life, Amen. for your generation. Amen. Are you ready? Yeah. This time around, we will need only keyboard. I don't, we don't need drama this time today. We for the for, for this first next ten minutes we need only one key, high keyboard. You can you can stand there and roll on the ground. I want all of you to begin to thank him. Not standing up, but rolling on the ground. Not thanking him, but rolling on the ground. Masuta yila bage, liko soto kori, rakelege.
Amen. Father eternal, Lord everlasting, in your name, we bow unto your name. We worship your majesty. We thank you for all provisions, financial provision, economy provision, social provision, marital provision, define health in the family, define strength in the family, define health among the church, define lifting, define provision, Define protection. Daddy will say thank you. Daddy will say thank you. Gracious Father, thank you. Glorious Father, thank you. For traveling mercy. For journey mercy. For safety in the year. For safety even when we sleep. Oh, we are graceful. For good report in the calm. We are graceful. We are graceful. We are graceful. That day, we surrender all at your feet. We declare it's all about you. Jehovah Jiri, all about you. That day from here, take over. Amen. Take over your church. Amen. Take over your church. Amen. Take over your church. Amen. That day, if we say we have not hindered you, we are liar. Even we are, we are liar. We have hindered you. In every hour we have played God in the life of your people, let mercy answer for me now. Amen. In every hour, every place, every hour I have played myself, I have played God in their life. We are ever. And whenever I have played God, Lord, this morning, mercy. Amen. Mercy. Amen. Mercy. Amen. Mercy. Amen. Mercy. Amen. Oh, Lord, mercy. Amen. The overjury, mercy. Amen. The over shalom, mercy. Amen. El Shaddai, mercy. Amen. Gracious Father, mercy. Amen. Glorious Father, mercy. Amen. Dependent Father, mercy. Amen. Unchangeable Father, mercy. Amen. Mercy. Amen. mercy. Mercy. Amen. Oh, fire your church. Mercy. Amen. Every misstep, we pray for mercy. Amen. Every misstep, we pray for mercy. Amen. Over every misstep, we pray for mercy. Amen. Over wrong action, we pray for mercy. Amen. Over wrong action, we pray for mercy. Amen. Mercy. Amen. Mercy. Amen. Over self centeredness, we pray for mercy. Amen. Over self righteousness, we pray for mercy. Amen. Over self holiness, we pray for mercy. In every we are every other that we have been holier than that, we pray for mercy. Thank you, Father. We are promised to dedicate today, next Sunday, and Sunday upper. Oh Lord, just to humble ourselves. God, that is a call for service. Humble yourself in the hand of most high God. And this God, you promise to lift us up. Only when we humble ourselves. This morning, Lord, we humble ourselves in your righteous right hand. We trust our, our lives in your righteous right, right hand. Oh, Daddy, lift us up. Carry us up. Far beyond our strength. Far beyond our wisdom. Far beyond our, 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 our energy. Thank you, Father. Lord, this would they humble themselves before you. My prayer that they will not die Amen. in your hands. Amen. They will not die Amen. in your hands. Amen. They will not know sorrow Amen. under your watch. Amen. Enemy will not enemy will not laugh over them. Amen. Enemy will not say yes. It has been what they have taught concerning us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The evil plan of enemy will not stand and it will not sustain. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name for all. In Jesus' righteous name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Stand up, feet of God. Begin to thank Him. Begin to bless Him. 
begin to adore him, begin to celebrate him. What a mighty God, what a loving God, what a caring God, what a reliable God, what a dependable God. Blessed be your name. The everlasting Father, Blessed be your name. the King of kings, Hallelujah. the Bless Lord you, of Lord. lords, we give you the glory. God of God, we give you all. the ancient of days, Hallelujah. the most dependable Hallelujah. Father, the most reliable Father, Lord, bless you. the unchangeable changer. We worship Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be to the your name. great I have. Hallelujah. Blessed be your Blessed name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please, now we need our choir up here. We want to dance. Please, do not frank when you are dancing. Lay your tie to be like this. Choir, are you ready? Okay. Yes, go, go, go. Don't embarrass, don't embarrass him now. Amen. Amen. This boy, very soon we get to sing. Amen. I'm telling you. Yeah. We asked our choir, are you here? We want to... How many people ready to dance? Not the way you look, look good. Yes. Smile, smile, smile. Yes. Amen. Yes. That is different between America and another nation. We smile. Yes. Everything we smile. Yes. yes. So, well, do you want me to lead this song? Are you already you are ready? Okay. God bless you. Yeah, go. Jehovah, hey. Jehovah, Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, Jehovah, hey. Oh, Lou, I love 
go
be generational. Amen. You will remember today by yourself, especially you will give thanks to God. Amen. Nobody will escape thanksgiving of today. Amen. You will return with your thanksgiving. Amen. Because of today. Amen. You will return for thanksgiving. Amen. Because of today. Amen. I say it again by the anointing of Holy Ghost. I say it by the mandate. You will return for thanksgiving. Amen. Because of today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Every joy that will be angry in the oh, ear. No. Every hard desire that will be angry in the ear. Every experience that will long angry in the ear. This key, the key of joy of today, unlock it. Amen. Release it. Amen. Bring it unto you. Amen. This joy of day and every sorrow. Amen. In your generation. Amen. Thank you, Father Lord. Hallelujah. Faith Trial Ministry International. We have realized that we are thankful because we are unthinkful. Because only those who know to think will know how to thank. It takes everything for granted. It takes everything for right. Only when we have little trouble that we run extra scatter. But all is where we all relax. That's why we can't even win souls. That's why we cannot even use our testimony to witness. Lord, today, Lord God, we have come with heart full of repentance. Lord, forgive us. Amen. We promise we are ready from here. Amen. We are ready, O oh Lord. Amen. We are ready, O oh Lord. Amen. Daddy, we are ready. Amen. Daddy, we are ready. Amen. Carry us through. Amen. And carry your own. Amen. In your strength and power. Amen. In your wealth and prosperity. Amen. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I prepared, I prepared, I prepared. And yesterday I told my wife, I said, I will prepare for a message that you, one message, 30 minutes, I prayed. I said, but I was never connected. Then I came back yesterday. I woke up, Piam. I managed to wash my mouth. I jumped in my oh, I, I prayed, prayed. I cried to God. I prepared. I said, God, Holy Ghost, you are the chief chef. Give me 
knew what to prepare. I mean, what to present. Because if it's my war, anybody can present it. Nobody is as, I can, even currently in America, no pastor is as eloquent as Obama. Yes, you are not as eloquent as Obama. Well presented. But the truth is that it's born out of flesh and it's the yellow of a man. But if this is what only spirit prepare, it will not be difficult. The chief chef already prepared. You know, when you go to the restaurant, he says, sit down. The guy comes to you and says, I'll be your, your server or your waiter. And uh, somebody is there that is cooking. The guy has an act like this. And he will prepare that food, make everything. The truth is this. The, the waiter will come and present it. Can you see that one? And after he, pre- he pre- uh, presents for you and you eat and you enjoy it. Listen. He will ask you, do you enjoy them? Do you enjoy my meat? He was not the one that prepared it. <laughs> and he will ask you, do you enjoy my meat? Listen, this guy didn't know the ingredients. He did not know the composition. But who will you give the chief? The waiter. The waiter. <laughs> Can you imagine? He was not the one that prepared it. But he will tell you, do you enjoy my, my meat? Sorry. And uh, why, question, why did you give to him? Why? He serves you one, that's all good. Two? Huh? If the food is good, but he didn't, he didn't prepare it. Yeah, presentation. The way he presented it. Presentation matter most. He was not the cooker, I mean the cook. Somebody cook it, he just came to present it, but several times I see I give them five dollars, my wife said no. See the way, I see everything, see the way, see the way it's even smelling good. So then we increase it, I say okay, let me give seven, seven, no, twenty. Ah. Why presentation? Does really matter. So I waited on the Chief chairs, so that I can have something to present to you. Maybe I can get tip. Maybe I can get your clap, so that you can't just go back home the same you have come. But the truth is this: God drops something in my spirit. Eight Sunday could not enough to. Disseminate what gave to me about the fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. Because church, especially African church, we like something. Throw it and cash it. We only want to, we only want to cut our way, corner side. So we are torn size and wonder to ministry. Hallelujah. They know that you won't come until you see. And they tell you, Christ say until they see signs and wonder. And that is not the basis. The signs and wonder that Christ was talking about. I remember even those in those days, before the wrestling is now a common thing. When they, when they, when you want to fight a wrestling in the bottom of they will come from yesterday. See, yesterday. They will be doing uh, at around the town. You see, see Triple H. Everybody, I see, ah, everybody like, uh, see, ah, go and watch them. They are doing adverts. They want awareness. They create awareness. Just like when you create a flyer. So most of the Jesus flyers there, he says, I wonder. When they see impossible, everybody wants to see what is going on there. I want to see. I want to see. Awareness. That is, that is what we turn to ministry. And the truth is this. He said, he anointed my head. He didn't show your head. You see the proof we have? In the cup. 
He anointed my hand. And my call run over. Does it follow? So what is in your hand? It is so. In your cup. What is in your cup is a reflection of what is in your head. If your cup is empty, when it's supposed to run over, it's because your, em- your, your head is empty. Can you see the in this kingdom, nothing just happens. Fruitfulness doesn't just happen by chance. There are, there are things in place spiritually. When you click into it, something must manifest in the physical. Mm. Or, or it's first activated in the spirit. You can't see in the physical. That is why every time God wants to do something major in your life, the first thing, like a doctor, they have something they put in the eye. That thing alone cannot, cannot do nothing. Hallelujah. That thing alone cannot do anything. They put in your, your, your head, they put in their nose everywhere. They will still ask you, how do you feel? I'm not feeling anything. I'm feeling, I'm not feeling anything. Uh-uh. With this, you leave, I didn't feel I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good now. But they will now begin to ask you with what? With the word of the mouth. So from the word of the mouth, they, they be able to what? To diagnose you. They don't just diagnose you. Even when you go through this scan and you come back and say, I'm seeing, I'm seeing okay. <laughs> to them, it's supposed not to be okay. Based on what they see, I mean, they saw in the scan. You see? Then they began to I mean, they begin to ask you questions. So, in this world, what matters most, what creates your world is your world. What you know, the understanding you have about the world of God does matter the world or the life you are going to live. Everything pertaining so goodness and life has been given to you. It's inbuilt. It's in you. Fruitfulness is in you. Not that God, when you cry, God will not begin to start creating another fruitfulness. It's already in you. And the word of God is scanning it where you are in what belongs to your destiny. Mm. The book of Acts chapter 20 I will keep on reading this. I can preach this over a year. Verse 32. Act. He said, And now, brethren, I commend you. Some Bible, some verse say, I commit you. I commend you, me, I commit you. Me, I entrust you. I entrust you to God. I entrust you, I can trust your life in the hand of, I can entrust to God. I'm confident God is able. He said, I entrust to God. I, listen, and to the word of his grace. Not the word of grace. Not the word of what? Of grace. But the word of is great. If he say wall of grace is specific, maybe wall of faithful. That's the wall of grace. But the wall of is grace, total embodiment of grace. We, we include faithful, we include mercy, we include speed, we include wealth, we include prosperity. Wall of all that make God God. I commit to with to what made God a God, all of His grace, the entire that made God was a God. That what I commit you to. He said, when you know this wall, he said, this wall will build you. He said, this wall is powerless until you are being built. If you are not being built, gain strength. Gain stamina. That's a thing that this God will not deliver unto you. 
This word is telling you that uh, there are things in, in, in me now, not tomorrow, not next week. If you gain this stamina, I will give you this thing. But if you don't get this stamina, if I give to you, it's a waste. When you are being built by the wall of his grave, there are things you are praying for that you don't need to pray for it. Because it's in you, it will magnetize. Hallelujah. Because the book of John chapter 5, 3, it let us know that nothing was made without the war. Everything that made was made what? By the war. In the absence of the war, nothing made that was made. And you begin to read from verse 1, he said, in the beginning was the war, the war was with God. That John chapter 1, verse 1, verse 2 said, I don't know, let me see here, because it's like nobody in the media department. John 1, chapter 1, verse 2 said, is there anybody in the media department, what are they doing there? And I cause Sorry for almost five minutes. Then the same was in the beginning with God. Fast three. That's where I'm going. Fast three. See this one. He said, All things were made by what? By him. You see, listen to that. Not all things were made by it. Get that one. Not that all things were made by it. By him. He's talking of the war. Is that refer back to the war as what? As in. So without the war, nothing made that was made. So all things were made by the war. This morning I'm talking about potency of the war for fruitfulness. Potency of the war for what? For fruitfulness. Nothing, if, if you are empty Christian without the war, the war, nothing made without the war. Question. Let me need to digress. I don't want to go there, but let me you digress. That's nothing made without the war. That was why you are praying. Can I tell you? Some people, they are the cause, and their cause creates certain things. Some of you, you are still a victim of the cause. That the drop may be not on you or your father. Maybe on your father. And you are still a victim. Somebody you their cause to create something. And your family is working on it. And it will take, let me tell you that why. And when it comes to that area, it is a God that used confidence to destroy confidence. He used confidence to rewrite confidence. Some of you are going uh, under God started covenant now. It will take another covenant to rewrite it. It will not just go. Because it will not go, it won't go just like that. That is where the power of divine exception comes in. It's, it's affecting your family and you'll be accepted. You'll just be singled out of that curse. Because you are using a covenant to destroy a covenant. You use a covenant to rewrite a covenant. Amen? When people are misbehaved against the wall of God, is a cause. Many, nothing moves them when they come to the wall of God. When they come to the wall of God, regardless who is speaking, the, 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 first, the first attribute that a man is under the cause is when you take the wall of God casual. Because nothing, when you tell the word of God, casual, nothing good can work for you again. Only cause. Every time you tell the word of God, casual, you are activating cause. Because already in your life, can I tell you, be a, nobody has a perfect background. At one point of the other, we are disadvantaged. At one point of the other, we are what? We are disadvantaged. You are the one that will accept yourself from the, that generational limitation. But Satan knows that uh, that habit of your father 
make the man of God cast you out. Everything is enforcing the general limitation. That cause. Every time they speak the word of God, you hear the word of God, and nothing moves you. If the bar, head, or the word of God cannot move you, the sharp arrow of his blessing cannot pray to your life. You, you will always eat under stress. You, will, you can even succeed under, under sweat. But the truth is that if it take, if it take your sweat to make it, it will take your sweat to sustain it. When it comes to the word of God, we must be very serious. The spirit, even the spirit of God is powerless without the word. Even the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is powerless without the word. I'm not talking of just word. The word that you digest, that become part of you. The word that magnifies blessing. When the word of God, when you know the truth, you know the basis about favor. And you keep into it, favor will flow towards you. You don't even want to pray. You know the definition of favor and you keep into it and you know it. And that spirit, in, because each of them, they are spirits in God. That's a grace of favor and the spirit. That's a grace for prosperity and the spirit. When you digest it and it's in you, prosperity will follow you. Prosperity is not money. That's another thing we don't know. It's not money. It's more than money. So when it comes to the world, see, Bible says for numerous years, I cannot, I cannot say one million or two million, the spirit of God, even is God is spirit, was hovering around the deep. Right. The spirit of God, he couldn't do nothing until the war came. Until the war came. And when the war came, the, the spirit now followed the war. The spirit now followed the war. And you can see now word in action. And Bible says all things were made by him. And without him, the war. Was nothing made that was made the world. So you must very care, you must take the word of God so serious. Told, you have cried enough, you won't cry again, Jesus. Amen. You won't cry for that in the emotions. Told John 1, I think first one of us do. He said, I wish about all things. That you prosper. Let me tell you, your prosperity is to the degree of the war in you. Your prosperity is what? Is to the degree of the war in you. Don't you have what Christ said? He said, a, a good man, out of the good Treasure of his house, he speaks. So when a good man enters his house, where is his house? In his head, in his mind. He will always speak good things. You can't be speaking foul things and say you are good. Your word already divine you. You can't be speaking cause and say anyway, they just provoke me. If that is who you are. Amen? Why? Because out of your heart, you bring out. The reason why many of us, or many of you, you get hurt when people offended you is because you have a place in your heart, in your mind, where you are handing them. So you, you are, you are here. So every time you want to speak, you speak out of that. But when you don't have a place for it in your heart, your mind will be free. So every time you talk in the word of God, is the wall of grace. Is the wall of favor. Is the wall of blessing. That is the word that we are talking about. This thing was is very many, but let me summarize it. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter. I think Luke chapter eight. Quickly, let me do some summary. Or oh, I will. I, I will do it next week. Let me do it next week. 
Let's see because it is so deep and I don't, I, I don't want to rush it. You need to understand the reason why you will be fruitful. Amen. Don't get that one. The reason why you will be fruitful. Amen. You will. I'm, I'm not the reason why you must. We are definitely you will be fruitful. You will be fruitful. John chapter 8 now. I mean John 15. Verse 8. Let me round down with that one. John 15. Verse 8. See what Bible said there about your fruitfulness that you are going to be fruitful. He said, Ear in. Ear in is my father glorified. That what? One person say, When you bear much more fruit. In this, our Father glorify when you bear much more question. Where, what is it that glorify God? Your fullness, your increase, your productivity, your, your proof, your proof, your proof, your evidence. Hallelujah. What is that glory God? Your evidence. That you make an evidence. You make a proof. You make a mark. You make impact. When we are saying, you know, the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 28, it talks so much. Especially that, 20, especially, especially that 20, uh, verse 28. He said, and God made man, and God blessed them. Listen, and God what? Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. If you are there, okay. And God, can you, and God bless them. Ah. And God what? Bless them. What's the meaning of that? God speak, right? That means God, be God speak. So blessing is what? It's in the world. <laughs> blessing is the world. Oh boy. The world is the blessing. So without the war, money is power. Power is money. So without the war, there's no power. Without the war, there's no favor. Without the war, there's no strength. So what made up war is all you need. Power is part of what? Of ingredient of the war. Don't get that one. Energy is part of the ingredient of the war. So you can speak and there'll be energy. You can speak and there'll be power. Because they are they all, of, all of them combine together. They are the wall of his grace. They are wall of his grace. Thank God I, I know I have few children or few sons that they know the meaning of war. They come to me that they lay hand on me. Speak. Because they know that the certain thing has been dropped. And they know that it's a matter of time. It will surely come to manifestation. So when the world is speaking power, it, it is where the world of God flow that the power flow. It is where the world of God flows that the spirit of God flows. The war will not follow power. The wall of God will not follow the spirit of God. The wall of God will not follow the power of God, but the power of God will follow the wall of God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said, you are a born again man is like a man, like a wind. Then you can hear the sign. Then when he speaks, you see what? We see the effect. When he speaks, we see the spirit. So when you are speaking and there's no effect, question. Why on God's bed have been speaking no effect? 
When your wall is empty, your life will be empty of many good things. An empty wall is a useless wall. When your wall is empty of the energy of God, of the strength of God, when your word is empty of understanding of what you are saying, Satan can challenge you. Do, you. do you even know what you are saying? Because this is it. Satan will never challenge you absent or about the word of God. He will challenge you within the scope, within the scope of the word of God. Satan has never operated above the scope. He's still within the scope. He came to Jesus Christ, your Jesus, my Jesus. He speak the word, right? He speak the word. The word was in him. But the truth is that uh, you, Jesus Christ said, you are giving the power to what? To know the mystery. Satan has the word, but he doesn't have the mystery. He doesn't have what? Have the mystery. He doesn't have the mystery. And the mystery has been given unto you. That's why two, I've told you now, no, two, no, three. There are things you hear, there are things you dream. I hear that water used to destabilize you as a cup of tea, and you drink it, and you'll be destabilized. But people that have the understanding, they say, get out of that hater. Amen. I've told you also, of a person that he dream. He dream himself. Not that the pastor came to you that he had dream. He saw his head being cut off. Where am Eh? In the day of my birthday, I already prepared that tomorrow my birthday. I'm going to the, I'm going on the mountain to pray. I'm going tomorrow my birthday. I'm going, oh, 5 a.m. I'll be on the mountain. But by the time he dream, he saw that the head has cut. The interpretation, I said, your, your, the bad head has cut off. That is not you. Your bad head has cut off. This is a real you now. Is there really? Yeah. The bad head has cut off. This is original you now. What can I do? Begin to celebrate. And he was celebrating. Lo and behold, that was the day of his, his breakthrough. Somebody came all the way from far country to come and give me a car. He will have gone to the mountain. They won't have me, met his wife in the house. He will have come and see the door knocked and go back. So Satan know that eh, this one, I must destabilize it and send it to the mountain. And too late, go on mountain. No, before he talked one day, you will say three days, I won't come down. Because of that head that was cut off. <laughs> that will always tell you, at times, something you call an open door is not an open door. Satan opened it so that you know that if you don't go through this door now, you will go to the right door. Tomorrow, we we'll open for you. He knows that your door is, there, is next week. He quickly open one for you now. And you enter into it and you couldn't come out again. No reverse. Keep on going. Keep on going. You will not enter into the error. Amen. I say you won't enter into error. Amen. You will not enter into error. Amen. Every door open that is not of God, we close it now. Amen. Amen. Let, let me tell you, not every time Satan calls ashes. Not every time Satan calls ashes. A time when you know that if, if, he does, if he gives you a ship, that a ship will take you to where you are going. He will give you some pleasure. He will keep on post to you a good dream. You will be dreaming, fly up your private jet. You know that, yeah, that one will keep you to relax. You will keep on dream. Good dream. He will give you money. So you will relax. You, the God that say you are going to give this church private jet, and say that uh, he quickly give him 350E. E class. I say, yes, I'm a German left now. I've arrived. He make you arrive so too soon. So that you, you don't get to where you are going. They tell how make you arrive too soon. Because you don't arrive too soon. And you are well processed. You will get to where you belong in destiny. But every fake blessing God will reject to this. Amen. Amen. Every life of enemy will reject it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want us to say unto God today 
the law in you Lord, in you, I will fulfill in destiny. I will fulfill in destiny. In you, oh Lord, in you, oh Lord, I will fulfill. I will fulfill in destiny. In destiny, speak to God that you fulfill in destiny. Father, in you, I will fulfill. I will fulfill in destiny. I will not wait. For, I will not be cajoled by the lies of enemy. I will not be cajoled by the lies of the enemy. I will not be cajoled by the lies of enemy. I will never be cajoled. I will by not the be lies trapped. I will. Not be trapped by the gift of enemy. By the gift of the enemy. In the name of Lord Jesus. Eternal, we are I will not we be will, trapped. We will refuse to be cajoled. By the gift of we the enemy. We will refuse to be trapped. Father, by the light of enemies. To be trapped by the lies of the enemies. We in refuse our lives, to be trapped. In the name of Jesus. We refuse we to be trapped. grow Bakushi in you in the name of Jesus. We refuse to be trapped in the name of, of Jesus. Every open door that is not of you is closed right now in the name of Jesus. Every open door that is not from you, Every open door that is not from God. In the name of Jesus. Close down now. We shall not be trapped. By the we refuse to be trapped. In the mighty name By the lies of enemy. refuse to be trapped. By the lies of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Eat that body and drink the blood. By the anointing of Holy Ghost, what we have done this morning, we produce a thanksgiving in your life. Amen. Therefore, I want you to talk to God in that area where you expect the hand of God. Not just scatter it. Be specific. Where you are expecting the hand of God for fruitfulness. At times what you need is not money. It's wisdom. At times what you need is not money. It's divine understanding. At times what you need is not money. I'm telling you. You just need the hand of God. You must know what you need. The Lord, this morning, Thanksgiving, will produce another Thanksgiving in my family. Speak to God in that area. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Please, Last Sunday of this month, we are going to have another guest minister. Amen. Amen. Because of that, how many of you in the house today? That you are September. Okay, please come, come, come. Let me pray for you. Bring the anointing hoy there. Bring the hoy. All the September. All the September. I'm going to pray for you. Your man represents fruitfulness. From today, let everything in you begin to blossom. Amen. Include your life. Amen. And your family. Amen. And your children. Amen. Sweatless sources. Amen. Sweatless sources. Amen. Unprecedented achievement. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I place upon you the hand of his grace. Amen. Fruitfulness. Amen. Blossomness. Amen. Joy and peace. Amen. I place my hand upon this adding vessel. No jam will survive in you. Amen. No bacteria will thrive in your body. Amen. No fire will survive in this body. Amen. You will not be epitome of sickness. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But will be the singlet of God Amen. for the fire head. Amen. Your family will not crush. Amen. Will not crumble. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every evil attachment I did there now. Amen. Every evil attachment I did there now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will swear. Amen. God will give you patience. Amen. God will give, grant you wisdom. Amen. You will join long life. Amen. And defy it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every outstanding expectation by the hand of his grace are turning the outstanding testimony now. Amen. Outstanding testimony now. Amen. Mm-hmm. 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 Rio Sikaya, the God of heaven reversed the time. Amen. And he's turning back in your people. Amen. 
in your favor. Amen. In your favor. Amen. In your favor. Amen. The God of Jeshua. Amen. The God of Jeshua. Amen. The God of Isaac. Kakuaka Sita Ilamba has. Riku Sinti Kutim Balinda Hua Santa Ya. Meku Lokusi Kaila. Make your, do- your dream come true now. Amen. Your dream come true now. Amen. No more delay. Amen. Your waiting period is over. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. A place of prayer, you daughter of Zion. Nation will celebrate you. Amen. As you arrive, they will rise for you. Amen. As you arrive, they will rise for you. Amen. You will be unto nation, epitome of joy. Amen. Epitome of joy. Amen. You will fulfill the counsel of God. For his purpose for your life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, everlasting Father. I lay hand of grace upon you. Zikumba, so you will fulfill. Amen. So you will fulfill. Amen. I hear God say you will surely fulfill. Amen. I heard him say you will surely fulfill. Amen. I hear God say you will fulfill. Amen. You will fulfill the purpose Amen. of God for destiny. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you. Begin to thank him, bless him. Everlasting Father. This is your church, Jehovah Jiri. I leave there in your hand. This week, you will feel the fine cancer. Amen. You will feel the fine cancer. Amen. You will fulfill the fine cancer. Amen. God hold down your steps. Amen. We are ready you to say, be this week. Heavenly Father, go ahead of you. Amen. The host of heaven, go ahead of you. Amen. God will prepare your office for you. Amen. God will prepare your working place for you. Amen. Goodness and mercy shall locate you. Amen. So I follow you. Amen. So I surrender you. Amen. So I surround you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's a be a week of joy and gladness. Amen. That's a be defined connection for somebody here now. Amen. Define connection for somebody here Amen. now. I hear God say, somebody God is connecting you this month. Amen. I hear God is telling me, say, your cry, your singular cry is over. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Poki Pakasa, Poki Riba Santa, yeah. Somebody say, eh, but they always say God's daughter. But listen to this, they always say, it, but you are hearing God now by yourself. You are hearing him by yourself now. Before the exit of this week, God will visit you. Amen. In a special way. Amen. In a specific way. Amen. God will place in your tongue a testimony. Amen. If you will not keep quiet, Amen. if you will not keep silent, God will give you a testimony. Amen. If you repent of what He has given to you that you didn't give, you didn't celebrate, it, God will give you a new one. Amen. God will give you a new one. If we a new one. Amen. As you as our children are going back to their school, I made the face of fire. Run their schools. Run their class. Amen. By the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus. I made the fans of fire run their school. Run their classroom. Run their seat. Amen. By the blood of Jesus Christ. It's a good report. Amen. Our children, they are going to, to Florida for our women for their 2022 vacation. Lord eternal Abba, Father, they, I cry. They will ride on the wings of mercy. Amen. They will ride on the wings of mercy. Amen. We declare this journey turbulence free, Amen. storm free, Amen. disaster free, Amen. calamity free, Amen. errors free, Amen. error free. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the time they are coming back, they are coming back rebranded, Amen. renewed. Amen. Refresh Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will not just only go there to enjoy, yes. they will go there to be involved. Enforcement of the spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Grace to be able to tell them, tell the truth, to teach them, tell the truth, to be able to absorb the truth, to be able to accommodate the truth. Lord, I release upon them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' righteous name, I decree. Amen. Sorry for just little delay. 
Okay, come. Let... Okay, we met that are going. Come, let me anoint you. Okay, no problem. You may come and anoint you. Father eternal, I pray the hand of God upon these women. They are going in the power of God and in the might of your strength. Amen. Wisdom from above. Amen. Divine covering. Amen. Divine provision. Amen. Divine protection. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the time you are returning, you are returning refreshed. Amen. Even though you are not going to war for one week, there shall be a divine recovery. All the individuals that are, I mean, all our members that are going for package, come, come, all of you come. Everyone that go, let me, oh. And the staff that are going for vacation, let me place here. Come, come, let me. All our members that are going for vacation, you are going for vacation. You will return in peace. Amen. You will return in peace. Amen. And not in pieces. Amen. I, I made fence of fire around you. I surround you with face of fire. Evil shall be far from you. Amen. Calamity shall be far from you. Amen. I place upon you the mark of God. Amen. The mark of touch you know my anointed. Amen. And do my prophet no harm. Amen. I place the finger of God upon you. Amen. Upon your life. Amen. You will return in peace. Amen. Your joy shall be full. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go and possess the land. Amen. Go and take over. Amen. If you far from you, Amen. disaster far from you, Amen. calamity far from you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. thank you, everlasting Father. You are go and you come back in peace. Amen. I shall be no emergency. Amen. We declare Johnny emergency free. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree Amen. our confession of faith. Oh, God. Can you Feet like hands feet.